Hello and welcome to a next episode of H. Paul Models. This time round, Airfix Mark 1A Spitfire, but <laughs> I'm going to try and do a dual seater. Now I know the Mark 1 is not the right model for the dual seater. I think they're Mark 5s or 9s or something like that. Um, but it's something I've wanted to try for some time. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping this will work. And it'll be of some interest to anyone else who wants to try it as well. So uh, let's go. As always, destructions are up. And uh, we're back to sprue A, sprue B. I like that. Sprues are up. Board's clean. Let's crack on. The reason why I've chosen this particular model of Spitfire is because it's one that I've built many, many, many times before. So it's almost a habit building this. I'm not going to struggle with uh, finding parts and bits and pieces for the sprue. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's basically one of my favourite Airfix model um, to date. I just, I just love this version of it. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna speed up the video for the build of the cockpit and whatnot, and then slow it down again when I add some bits for the second seat, which I'm gonna rummage in my parts box and see if I can find one because uh, I've got the canopy, but I'm not so sure about the seat. Anyway, enough of my chit chat. I'll um gonna go to fast forward. I do seem to remember uh, historic builds of this particular model that this part, the gun sight, was a clear part. I'm going to have to go through my old instructions and find out because um, I'm pretty sure this was a clear part many, many years ago. But anyway, I digress. I have here some donor parts from a um, other manufacturer's kit. Not particularly favourite manufacturer of mine, so I don't particularly mind in using this as a uh, as a donation. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not going to go into the manufacturer's name, but and stuff. But yeah, I've never been keen on this one. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that they're 172 scale seats, and I think that is going to be an okay match. It's already got the harness on there, so I'm going to make any Tamiya belts up for that one. And I've taken the control column, trimmed it. I'm going to file it a bit smaller and then use these control column halves that I've cut off to try and replicate that little tiny um, Spitfire control column that came with the Airfix kit. So, yeah, a little bit of filing, a little bit of fettling. Let's see if I can't get it to sort of mimic the uh, Spitfire cockpit. What I've also got to do is um, try and make a second cockpit. Now, what I've done is I've got a margarine uh, tub lid 
from I'll, I'll try and blur this out so there's no advertising or anything um yeah um, to create a floor for the second cockpit a small um dashboard clock display whatever and then try and manufacture a second cockpit out of this plastic that will fit inside the spitfire fuselage as i go through the build
cut the model canopy across this piece here so that will then fit up to the pilot seat as you can see on the model there and then with a the spare canopy I'm going to cut it there behind the mirror there then that should hopefully he says if I measured that right fit there so proof in the pudding <laughs> bit of tape just stop it moving whilst I'm cutting otherwise it just it oh god otherwise it moves around and makes it more difficult <coughs> the canopy fitted more luck than judgment <laughs> vitally important remember to go really slow with these cuts um, you really don't need your saw full of swarf and a simple crack will ruin this and as I've only got a one stop shop with this one stop deal got to do this very very slowly carefully so as not to damage the canopy and by following the masking tape I'm hoped I've given myself a straight line there oh crikey What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on this model. Now I will need some filling to be done because that's just not going to come on there naturally because of what I've done to the model. But yeah, I think if I was to This is what I love about scratch building. There's no instructions, you just have to sort of find a problem, engineer a solution. There is no easy way out of this. I love it. It really does entertain me. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, look, that's what it was. So, using a little bit of filler, not too much, just enough. I think I can get that canopy to sit like that. So we have oh crops. A nice little oh crikey. You get the idea anyway. <laughs>
that's my version of a dual seat Spitfire. I know it's the wrong mark, but I like it. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. It's going to take pride of place in my display cabinet. Um, I like building the uh, Mark 1A 172 Spitfire anyway, but to do a conversion like this was just, well, I, I loved it. So um, I hope you like the video as much as I like building it. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers!